11, it would be 11 of 11 if Miller were here. Exactly. And this defense is outstanding, Keith. They've ranked 10th in the nation in scoring defense as you look at linebacker Nelson. Third down and two now for Michigan. And they stay with Howard. He turns the corner, gets to the 10, and stops there. And he is two and a half yards short of his first down. The Wolverines will have to punt. So Penn State is going to get very good field position out of this punt. But his last outing was truly outstanding. He may find some He'll have to play some today, yeah. It is Jura Vicious, the white man at the bottom of the picture. That's Curtis Enos in motion, and Richardson will pass on the first play, throws the ball to Enos. Enos will have a first down at the 30-yard line. So they pick up 11 on the very first play. Curtis has got the ball coming to the left. He's got a block. He's on the corner. He's on his way. Charles Woodson takes him down at the 10-yard line. First down and 14 now for the Nittany Lions. As the ball comes back to the 14, the ball given to Ennis. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage, and it is William Carr, the big senior from Dallas. Second down and 17, and in, in effect, it's second down and goal. The ball is thrown high and incomplete, intended for Jura Vicious. Come over and help. If Woodson stays behind him, they'll try to cut off the front portion of that particular kind of a play because it was available. That ball is thrown into the corner of the end zone intended for Curtis Enos, and it's too high and complete. He's good from this distance. 14 out of 20 from this distance. A lot of leg on it. It's down the highway, and it's good. So at 11.41 to go in the first quarter, Penn State scores on their first two weeks. Joe Jurevicious down toward the bottom of the picture as Jura Joe goes in motion the other way, but he'll stay on this side of the wide out, and Richardson back throws, and it's low. And the catch is made by Everly coming out of the backfield right about the line of scrimmage. Curtis Enos comes back in but does not line up as the deep back. He lines up as a receiver now goes in motion. And they give it to him and he's hit behind the line of scrimmage. Made a 34-yard field goal today. This will be from 46 yards. And if the wind bothers him, it'll help him. It'll be behind him. He's got plenty of leg on it. And the kick is good. And so Penn State has now rung up a pair of field goals to lead six to nothing. Completions in a career, he has a chance for the yardage record. Especially Temple keeps uh, using these four wide out sets. Now the ball dumped to McBride, who has some room. And nice running by McBride as he gets it inside the 30 for another Temple first down. Scott Oster. Their big right guard does a good job moving them back off the line of scrimmage. And you know, as you look around this stadium, the BC fans are just flat right now. Tim ESPN presentation of College for Days, that train. <laughs> That's what he feels like the fourth quarter, though. Barry Alvarez not feeling very good with his quarterback having fumbled and given the opportunity to Iowa to score here with a third down and 11. 9.47 to go, first quarter. White and Odoms, the wideouts. Banks in motion out of the backfield. Will scoop it. Whoa, what a hit. <laughs> Jurowitz just said hello to Tim Dwight. This going to be a tough shot. It's not a given. Whoa. Whoa that Another that ball that made it. it. That thing went all over the place, <laughs> but it went through. 36-yard field goal by Bromert. Our first score of the game. Reisbach again looks and goes the other way with it. The ball is high and long, incomplete. Pass intended for Russell Shaw. Defending Mark Not Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Change it as often as you can right. so the phone never rings. Second down and long. Berger straight ahead. He didn't carry it much. No. Get in position on third down where you can pick it up. First quarter almost over. Wisconsin's only had it on offense for nine plays. Here's a quick slant, a completion. Demo Odom's first down for Iowa. Lamar Campbell made the tackle, but Sherman whips it out there for nine yards. Oh, sure. He's the athletic director now at Toledo. Is As he? Left Idaho. Didn't Gary Pinkney, the coach there now? Yep. Nice job. Out of 
of the end zone. Dreisbach throws, passes caught for the tight end. Tooman taken down at the 11-yard line. And Penn State will get out of this one with very good field position. Go! Go! Nolan Walker again. The one drive that beats... Yep. Northwestern is finishing today. Yeah, they finished today. Yeah. The teams have uh, two or three games left. 7.38 to go in the first half. Penn State goes to work with Aaron Harris, the single back. Snap is at the 47. Give it to Harris. And he breaks through the middle, finds some room, and Clint Copenhaver makes the tackle up near field is number two in the slot now. And Richardson lets it go for Drew Bishop and a penalty flag. And I think you got a call coming against Charles Woodson. Line six to three. Penn State leads Michigan. Sort of a slow-paced football game. Enos looking around for some daylight. Now find some. He's out of the next hair and a half as he got down inside the 15 to the 14-yard line and another first down. Yeah. Emily is in replacing him. You got Nastasi at the top of the picture. Look out, he hasn't seen the ball yet. Goes to Everly. He's quick. He's past the marker. He's got a first down as he angled for the corner, and it'll be first and goal Penn State at the Michigan two-yard line. All yeah. three fullbacks. Yep. All three fullbacks. We got the elephant in. Harris. Touchdown. One of the the Michigan defensive players pushed him in the end zone. Here's a look from the other side. 29 there is Ray. Watch as he comes in. I think the defense pretty much has him stopped right there. Now Ray hits him and helps push him into the end zone. And Aaron says thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, go sit down. Third down and eight. Sala and company will be pinning their ears back here if Iowa gets this playoff. They do. Sherman, quick drop and a quick out. A nice pitch at the 12-yard line by Carter. Wow, that was a good grab. It was so a quick out does, but that was a nice grab. Eight for eight for Sherman. And the eighth play of the Iowa drive in the red zone of Wisconsin, leading by 10. Shaw stood up and... Peppered by Pete Monty. Screen. I want you to watch the defensive back, Terry Cousin. I got you. I got you. I got you. Aye. 56 yard touchdown. Gators lead by eight over on the deuce. Prep. I got you. I got you. Ain't got you. Boy. 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 <laughs> Second down and seven. A uh, little audible here. We see the blitz, but man to man better than the outside. Tavian Banks. Situations I've been talking about. Perfect. Sherman, good time. Open man, the tight end. Did he get in? Yes, yes. he did. Camper touchdown. You could see the look of disgust on the defensive coordinator's face. This time, he didn't blitz. He played coverage. The big tight end gets wide open. Campbell comes up, and when you're black, trying to tackle a tight end, and he can lunge across. It's a touchdown play. Ohio State next week. This is Chris Howard. He's around the corner, and Chris will have a first down on the north, on the uh, oh, about the 48-yard. Gets away. Fourth down, 13. Let's see if Hasselbeck kicks this ball. Wow! Well, you're not going to get a chance on that kind of a snap. He's really scrambling for everybody's life. Throws it up the field. And it is out of the hands of the Lamont Adams covering Anthony DeCosmo. And down and seven. Rise block back. Throws to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown. Aaron Shea. Let's hear it for the tight end. <laughs> Very 
quite good defensive effort by the Wolverine. Second and long. Quick drop. Got his man out there. Fearless Price. Pick up of about five yards. The Razorbacks swarming. Also plays a lot of offense. And I think the reason we're going to see it is because of the 85 scholarship rule. You don't have 85 healthy bodies. Guys get hurt. Save a lot of money if you go back to one platoon. Uh, no, we don't want to go that far back, Austin. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I brought sorry. that up. <laughs> an offensive lineman can dominate the guy lined up against him, but I don't think he can dominate a game. I think an offensive line as a unit can dominate a game, but not an individual lineman. And I agree with Keith. Now, I played against Hugh Green. He was a great player. And a defensive lineman even has a better chance of dominating a game because you can move him around and bring him from different positions. He can control a game much more than an offensive lineman. Can. I happen to agree, though, with Keith. And if you take a look at this that Ohio State has sent out, it says quite simply, the best all-round player should win. How about the best running back or the best quarterback? It says no. It is. Orlando Pace is the man you should vote for in this one. And I think if you're voting for the best player, vote for whoever you think it is, regardless of position. We'll be back in just a moment. Why aren't we trying to go at these guys harder? They're going about this the exact right way, and Matt Lytle is executing his offense exactly how Johnny Majors and his coordinator, Ken Carter, set it up during the week. Second down and six. 50-yard line. And on the pitch, again at the tailback slot is Dwayne Schultz, and he is met helmet to helmet by Laron Cobbins of Notre Dame. And the pass is complete as Lyle rolls out and hits Jake Hofer. And Hofer has the first down, converting the win that has been expected is died down. Rolling left and throwing the left hand passer, it is incomplete. He was going to Mark Butler right across. Third down and eight. A little bit of a low snap, pressure, wobbly pass, underthrown, it's incomplete. He's been playing well, Keith, the last few ball games also. I mean, he had a little slump there along with some of the other guys at Penn State. He's changing the play. And his cadence, he's wearing his cadence a little also. This is Everly. This is Everly. And Woody Hankin. Curtis Enos. He is the back, and the pass is thrown to Campbell. And Chris Campbell will get the catch. Seven yards, Kemper by Howard. This is Enos. We need him to block better. Call it second and two. Porter well, runs into the spot. Bounces off and comes back this way. And he's still going. the classic old fullback pose, yep. isn't it? Yep. Well, if Michigan can get out of this uh, possession uh, losing only a field goal, then I would think they would consider that fortuitous. Richardson back. Pressure throw. This one will be marked down at the 15 and will be a 25 yard cross. A little short on the snap, but the hold is good the kick is good. And at 447 to go in the third quarter, Michigan leads by a point. Minus 24 yards for Pitt. Second down and 18. The give is to Dwayne Schultz off to the right. Turn on a reverse. Side. To the 20, and to the 10, and to the 5. Mike Guasso and goal. First time he's been in the red zone today. And here's for the touchdown. The year 25th career showing what was downfield. <laughs> Williams is taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Weisman wants to go big. Now throws it away. There's only one guy out on that route. High street. It's going to be touchdown. Penn State. David Macklin blocked it. Ahmad Collins scored the touchdown. 
They've been coming around that side, Michigan's left side, all afternoon. And Macklin has been in there, almost blocked a couple other ones. In fact, did block one. Yeah, he got his hand on one earlier. The left side of the screen, number 27, is going to be there, unblocked. Some guys have a knack for this and some don't. Macklin, obviously, has the speed and quickness to get around the block. Special teams playing a big rope side of the field. Third down now, and four for Michigan. Reisbach. Fumble the football. Penn State recovers it at the 33-yard line. Gerald Filardi. Didn't have enough heat on it, and Herring came across and picked it off. Herring is one of the outstanding players on this field, Keith. There's no doubt about it. Trying to get the ball to the tight end on the short side of the field on a little bow out pattern, a little corner route. Herring will come into your picture, but watch the tight end. He's going to go up the field and break to the outside. Now watch Herring as he cuts underneath him. Sees the ball. Most defensive backs would have just broken it up, but Herring goes for the interception. That's his second of the day and his 12th career INT. And the ball's on the 38 of Michigan. First down with Curtis Enos. The deep back. He's got the ball. He's got a huge hole. And see you later. Touchdown, Penn State. You can break out the hors d'oeuvres and take them. How often do you see it for a team that gets a turnover? The defense goes out there. They're down, a little depressed. First play. That's down the other way. Brett Conway for the extra point. Michigan obviously is going to get the ball again, but it's going to be a different critter this time. The kick is good. A 12-point lead for Penn State. 4.42 to play. Let's read the numbers. The eighth player in Penn State history to rush for 1,000 yards plus in the season. Now with 1,031 today on 18 carries, 106 yards, and one touchdown. And that touchdown may have been a corruption. Into the corner for Streets. Is it intercepted? I didn't see it. It's intercepted. I think it is. It is intercepted. I didn't see the clear interception. Tate was there. Street had his hand on it. And we'll go back and take a look at it. Now there's Sean Lee behind him. There's uh, Tate coming along, and uh, he just looked what I found, interception. Is that the second note? Uh, uh, Herring got one earlier like that. Uh, Tate gets one this time. My goodness. So Street's got his hand on it, and all he was able to do with it was hand it off, literally, to Mark Tate. You, you got to make some plays. When the ball is there, You almost somebody's got to go up and make a play. And the plays are being made today by the guys in the white shirt. Penn State is, is intercepting and getting the turnovers, and Michigan is not. And so once again, Michigan is blunted. And Penn State will go from the 21st down. And they will run it until Michigan makes them stop running it. Anthony Cleary carries across the 25 to the 27-yard line, and a timeout is called here by Michigan. Three minutes and 48 seconds to play in the game. Betting against your own team, that's, that's unheard of. Here's the pressure big on Burris, and the pass knocked away from Van Johnson. There's the ball fumbled and picked back up by Darrell Porter, who's going to be eventually run out of bounds. Hard. Very hard, and... Uh,
as we told you now, playing at Indiana. Northwestern is in a tie right now with Purdue. Michigan State will be over at Penn State next week. So the Nittany Lions at five and two and uh, nine and two on the season as they go back home tonight. Those top three schools, Keith, don't play each other. No, that's right. That, that's, that's another bone of contention. Yeah. <laughs> this will do it. It's into the corner of the end zone, and it is not the way. It is incomplete. The ball game is over. Penn State 29, Michigan 17. The Lions win by 12, and here's Lynn Swan. All right, I'm with Kim Aaron. Kim, tremendous ball game you played today. Oh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't really don't think it was just me. I mean, our defense came out. We had a couple of letdowns early in the game, but I think we came back and sustained a pretty good drive. Two weeks in a row when you guys have played ball games against top receivers, you guys have come through. Uh, well, I think we, uh, our coach Joe Paterno, he challenged us to see how tough we are. You know, we, we knew we had three tough ball games more left to go in the Big Ten, so we knew we had to come to play. All right, a quick comment from Curtis Ennis, who went over a thousand yards. Congratulations. Was that your goal coming in this ball game? Uh, no, it wasn't. I just wanted to come in and continue to run hard for our ball club. And coach just challenged me today to see if I was going to continue to run hard like I did against Northwestern, and I took the challenge, and uh, it was a great win for us. Congratulations, Curtis. Thank you, Keith. Okay, this one is done. Penn State beats Michigan by a score of 29 to 17. We've got more football coming. So check your local listings for the game in your area. This is Keith Jackson along with Bob Greasy and Lynn Swan. We hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report and more football. Kicking game, if in fact that's what it comes down to. Absolutely. If they get to a field goal spot, they would be kicking with the slight move. Burris steps up, wrapped up. Stalin Colonet brings him down. Third sack today. Team at their own 46. Crowd roaring, and Burris' pass is well short of Kersey and incomplete. Burris was pressured by Nick Giannakakis, forced to roll. His pass fell well short of the mark, and Boston College takes a third, still tied at seven. Nick John for Parker. Parker hit hard. Tenth play of this drive for the Hokies. Play action in the end zone. Touchdown, a diving grab by Stewie. Michael Stewie at the back of the end zone. And Druckenmiller delivers the goods. The Hokies go on top. Steve, let's make it. Surface bluffs back out. Four-man rush, blocking holds, fires near side. And there's Mr. Boston again. 40, out of bounds at the 33-yard line. <laughs> Offset eye formation, Brent. A little bit of a different look right here for the Bucks. Powers over to the right. They're going to throw in that direction. Jermaine, it's deflected, incomplete. He wanted Pearson slipping out of the backfield, and it was Gregory, number 75, who put a paw on the forward pass. They're going split backs. No question, with the breeze in their face, they're not even going to think about field goal right here on this fourth down. They need to get inside the 23-yard line. Jermaine fires in the air. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 14-yard line by Joe King. They went to a double zone, soft double zone, rolled the corners up and just sagged them back there. And he just baited, baited, and baited the quarterback to throw it. Jermaine threw it, and he just fell back in nicely. He had two deep safeties. He could play as aggressively as he wants to in that coverage up there. But they sagged. They misread it. At the 50-yard line, not only the first down, but a huge gainer as Abrams makes the stop. And, Mike, that's just what you were talking about. They lull you to some one situation. Well, you have to take advantage of your opportunities when you're you right. running football. You're exactly right. Third down. They need four. Option play. Nice defense. Freeney is there to knock him down for a... Gattis are off to the right. Tight end is to the left side or the strong side of the formation. 
Rogers fake Smith. Receiver covered. Bounces off his own man and nothing doing as the big cat takes it away. Got it. Buckeyes put it in the end zone with Matt Finkus running it in. McNabb, four of four, a hundred yards in this first period. Penny Packer out over the football. Too tight in alignment. High set. Thomas, left side at the one. Touchdown, Syracuse. in Syracuse because offensively they have been unstoppable so far. Straight ahead with the carry. There's McIntosh and he will take it inside the 20. First third down situation of the night for Syracuse. That's how well they've moved the football. McMahon quarterback draw at the 10 down to the 6. Robert Brown is holding on to him. Right there. The wide receiver, Jim. Guys try to make it 10-0 tonight. Malcolm Thomas in motion. McNabb, pressure up the middle. Throws it back wide open to tight end. Caught it at the one-foot line. That's Roland Williams, and he doesn't get in. We're ever there. Following the 84 season and the 85 Rose Bowl. And there is Chris Carter. It seems like he's been catching balls in the end zone all his life. Yeah, but still doing it. Syracuse trying to make it 13 to nothing. No signal. I no signal. It. The Army has held. Morris did not get it. Makeda has Williams in motion. Does not pitch, will hold on to it, takes it out to the six. The Rose Bowl. After all those years, you know who's really relieved? His wife, Helen, who's up here in the practice. She was really nervous before this one. You would think we're in Columbus as the celebration is underway in Bloomington, Indiana. And some of the Buckeye fans have even yanked the goalpost down to my right. <laughs> They'll carry it all the way back to high street. How are they going to get that home? Going to put it in the bus? <laughs> Matt Finkus scores the biggest touchdown of the year. There's a lot of bowl games, but there's only one Rose Bowl. Thomas, right up the middle. Where does he get Takes it, McNabb keeps it at the two. He will not score, but I believe he has it up for the first. Miami on fourth down. Covington to the end zone, intercepted. Keon Carpenter. Carpenter can score. Touchdown. 100 yards, Keon Carpenter. There are flags down. Morris, 37, lines up as the fullback. McNabb wants to throw it, does. Touchdown, Syracuse, Simsena. Great job coming over the top. 13-yard line, first and 10. Craig in the flat, bobbled and dropped by Willie Gauthier. On second and 10, a blitz. Craig runs away from it. Craig has running room. Touchdown, Auburn! Ian Bobo have 
have been terrific. First and goal at the seven. Edwards stumbles inside the five. Today. They try the same play. Edwards, touchdown! That time they did not trip him up from behind. He goes in from just inside the five, and Georgia has the lead. Blitz on the first play, and it is caught. Gaucher inside the five. With the lead, Georgia took a chance. Two-minute roll. McLeod and Beasley in the eye. And it is a touchdown. It was easy. Two plays, and Beasley took it in from three yards out. Second and less than a yard for a first down. A little more than two for the touchdown. They have the first down. Kevin McLeod to the goal line. Short of the end zone will be first. Craig lost the football. But he broke the plane of the end zone. They call it a touchdown. He was across the plane of the end zone before he lost the football. Touchdown, Auburn. Wow. <laughs> Edwards, huge hole, cuts it inside, touchdown! Kevin Branch for CSU. On the delay, 21-yard touchdown, three touchdown day. He's got 22 on the season. Now Marcus Harris, the record-setting receiver for Wyoming, takes this Josh Wallwork screen pass and does 19 yards of work. Passes former teammate Ryan Yarborough, becoming the NCAA's all-time receiving yardage leader. His Cowboys were down, down two scores. They rallied. Marquez Brigham up the middle, six-yard touchdown. Wyoming rallies to beat Colorado State 25-24. Wyoming wins the WAC pack outright and will play in the conference championship game. Harris's number just inside the 15. Edwards cuts inside and Spikes took him down at the six yard line, a yard shy of the first year to head for the NFL draft. But he hasn't had a great season. He's helping his cause with this performance for the three. Edwards takes the handoff. They're trying to strip the ball. Edwards got down to the one. Salma Callaway, the fullback. Pitch to Kurtzy. Kurtzy waltzes into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. And they go back on top. Second and ten. They're coming off the corner. Craig runs away from it. He's inside the 20. Protects the football as he gets to the 18-yard line. Third and three. Craig running away from the blitzing linebacker. Dumps it short, and now they're down to one last play. They must convert either with a first down or a touchdown, or the game is over on fourth down and three. They're going to go to another overtime. They're in the normal set shotgun now. That's what we heard Coach Kine say. Craig needs the 15. Yeah, going to get there. Georgia wins in four overtimes. Football game for college football, and I can't say enough about our program here. I want to brag on these kids because everybody's been down on us and we hung in there, and that's not hokey. But I tell you what, that's great for college football. CBS, too, you've got to see what overtime's all about. And how about at the end of regulation? Mike Bobo coming off the bench. Also, Robert Edwards, great, but he was able to throw the that's final right. touchdown. But our defense shut him down in the second half. He didn't score a point uh, in, the fourth, in the second, third, or fourth quarter. But, you know, we've had it tough all year, Gus, but. Uh, I'm just so glad to finally get a win over a big team. Uh, everything's ahead of us from here, and I'm proud of Edwards coming off the bench like that, too, and our whole football team. And uh, say hello to everybody. I just can't say anything else. I mean, you want to ask me something, I might remember it. All right. Well, congratulations, Coach. Let's go back upstairs to Sean McDonough and Mike Mayock. Well, good for him. One of the good guys in college football, Jim Donner, with a huge win. Two home games left. It's a big play because you'll trade him a field goal in this situation. Turner in motion. See if that's who they look to. Thank you to him. Oh, wide open. Tight in. Touchdown, Syracuse. Cinsano, his second of the night. 20-yard line Syracuse. They're notorious to go on to their tight ends down here. 
away from Flo. Rowan Williams just did a nice job being an actor and then snuck out in the flat. Football player. Third down. They need a couple to pick this one up. That's Thomas in motion, top of the screen. That's who he wants to throw to. Thomas, and they're not going to get the first down. Great play by Gadsden, and Gadsden twice on third downs has come up with a gigantic center at 7.30, and in bed, that is if you've gotten all your work done, he has. First down at about two yards for the first down. Straight ahead, Perry again, he's going to have the first down. Know anything about Army? I thought it was going to Air Force. I went to the campus one time, and I was sold. That's that's all it took. The one trip. Williams in motion, play action. He's got a man over the middle and just overthrown. Brad Miller had broken free. 190. Perry straight ahead. Nope. I beg your pardon. McAdam holds on to it. On play second and long is uh, is big over the course of the evening. Okay, to play action. Right there. Tied in again as time Dunning. And Dunning has the first down. He is inside the five. Important game for Kansas State. A lot of snow out at Folsom Field in Boulder. And Brian Cavanaugh of the Wildcats picked off here in the second quarter by David Damon Wheeler. One play later, Coy Detmer will sneak it in. They missed both of their extra point conversions, so Colorado leads at halftime by a count of 12. Some spots, some options for a team when they're 9-0 and playing like they're playing. Touchdown, Army. Houston in Louisville, that's where Kedrick Sanford, he's at downfield to Maurice Bryant. 47 yards, he's wide open. Nobody's going to get him. The Cougars led 7-0. 17-10 Houston later on, and it's Sanford again with an 8-yard touchdown run. His second of the day, 24-0 Cougars with a win today over Louisville. They clinch the conference. In Boulder, great game to watch. First quarter, no score. Herschel Troutman breaks right, finds a seam. 27-yard touchdown, 6-0 after the missed extra point. Second quarter, that's still the score. This is the story of the game. Brian Cavanaugh, the interception by David Wheeler, took it down to the 14, eventually set up a one-yard touchdown. That was it. The Colorado defense comes up big. Blanks came. He's in a feel good for the Seminoles. Warwick done. Huge night. Takes the screen from Thad Busby. Down the sideline, he will go 77 yards for his 47th touchdown. That's a new Florida State record. It used to belong to Greg Allen. His third touchdown of the night there as Florida State pours it on what was a close game at halftime, beating Southern Miss, Iowa State. Troy Davis, 138 rushing yards, many of them coming in the fourth quarter, but he still passes Marcus Allen for the all-time two-year Division 1A rushing yard record. Armand Green at the most yards today, 214. Nebraska wins by 35. In the ACC, North Carolina's Alliance hopes Huge game against Virginia. North Carolina led 17-3, threw an interception for a touchdown, made it 17-10. Then Tim Sherman scores a touchdown, tied at 17. 17 points in a 10-minute span at the end of the game. Rafael Garcia, the game-winning field goal. Virginia comes all the way back and knocks off North Carolina. In the Big Ten, in the Big House, Penn State and Michigan. David Macklin coming after Paul Peristeris blocks his punt. Michigan led by one, but when Ahmad Collins took it in, Penn State had a five-point lead. Wolverines trying to come back. They did not throw the ball well today. Today, Scott Dreisbach picked off by Kim Herrick. Michigan, five second-half turnovers beaten by Penn State. Purdue at Northwestern. Northwestern trying to lock down second place in the Big Ten. Eric Haddad of Purdue fumbles the ball in a tie game. Two minutes left. Barry Gardner picked it up. Brian Goins for Northwestern. The 32-yard field goal. The Wildcats season ends at 9-2 and two with a win. Virginia Tech and Miami in the Orange Bowl. Scott Covington, the backup, is in because of a Ryan Clement ankle injury. Fourth down, trying for the tying score. Intercepted by Keon Carpenter. And Keon is gone. A 100-yard touchdown. Virginia Tech becomes the first Big East team to win at Miami. The Canes have lost three straight in the Orange Bowl. That hasn't happened in one season since 77. Earlier tonight in primetime on ESPN, Army trying to stay perfect against Syracuse. Donovan McNabb, a mistake-free night. Only three incompletions. A couple of touchdown passes, including this one to Roland Williams. The Hughes has won seven in a row. Now in South Bend, Pittsburgh at Notre Dame. And the storylines here, Lou Holtz 
amid all the controversy. Will he resign as ESPN first reported? If that happens, he'll probably come next week. His team on the field showed no ill effects. Pittsburgh's poor special teams were taken advantage of today for three punt returns for touchdown. That's an NCAA record. Notre Dame wins big, and after the game, Holt. School records are concerned for running back Robert Holcomb. He went over 300 yards on this play, had 315 on the night. Illinois goes up four, but Minnesota comes back. Corey Sauter to Ryan Thelwell, a 27-yard pass, set up a one-yard touchdown. Minnesota snaps a 13-game conference losing streak in the battle of lame duck head coaches. College football, and Air Force rallies from down. Kersey, uh, where's Kersey? How about all alone? 27-yard touchdown, but get this. Owls get the extra point blocked, and they cling to a 2014 advantage. I say cling because with time winding down, look at this, Amari Walker, how did he get up from that? Nonetheless, he scores, and Temple loses their ninth straight. Meanwhile, down in Harrisonburg, Virginia, big day for Andy Talley's Nova Rockets and his quarterback, Clint Park. 249 yards and a pair of touchdowns, including a four-yarder here to Anthony Calcet. Calcet, by the way, three touchdowns on the day. Park also rushed for 50 yards and scored on runs of one and seven yards. As Nova wins it, 40-23, now away to bid to the Division I AA playoffs. Checking some of today's other local action. Sports Network.